Apollo 12 launched from Cape Kennedy on November 14, 1969. Launch controllers lost telemetry contact at 36 seconds, and again at 52 seconds, when the Saturn V launch vehicle was struck by lightning. The booster's first stage continued firing, launching Apollo 12 into initial Earth parking orbit of 115 by 117.9 miles. Apollo 12, the second manned mission to land on the moon, was planned and executed as a precision landing. The astronauts landed the lunar module within walking distance of the Surveyor 3 spacecraft, which had landed on the moon in April of 1967. The astronauts brought instruments from Surveyor 3 back to Earth to examine the effects of long-term exposure to the lunar environment. The mission's objective was to perform detailed scientific lunar exploration. A precise landing was made using automatic guidance, with only small manual corrections needed in the final phases of descent. Touchdown occurred only 600 feet from the target point, the Surveyor 3 spacecraft. The landing was in the oceans of storms. This precision landing was of great significance to the future lunar exploration program, because landing points in rough terrain of great scientific interest could now be targeted. A color television camera mounted on the descent stage provided live television coverage of the descent of both astronauts to the lunar surface. Television coverage was subsequently lost because of the pointing of the camera at the sun. The crew emplaced the US flag in the solar wind composition experiment. They collected lunar samples and core tube specimens during this first EVA period, which lasted approximately four hours. The crew photographed Surveyor 3, which landed on the lunar surface in April 1967, and retrieved the Surveyor 3 scoop in the television camera. The television camera is now on display in the National Air and Space Museum's Exploring the Planets Gallery. Following crew transfer, the ascent stage was remotely guided to impact on the lunar surface, to provide an active seismic source for the passive seismic experiment that had been in place. But did this even happen? The results of recent surveys have shown that roughly 20% of Americans still believe to this day the US never really made it to the moon. Conspiracy theorists even came up with the theory that the first moon landing was faked by the US government, as a way to claim victory in the space race against Russia. This photo shows an odd-looking object in the helmet's reflection. Some have pointed out that the only source of light should be from the sun. Conspiracy theorists were quick to spot the object, which they say bore a very similar resemblance to an overhead spotlight common in film studios. However, mainstream scientists brush this off as nothing more than a conspiracy theory. But what do you think this photo shows? Let me know your theories in the comments. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more countdown videos.